What's up, girl? Hi. Give me a kiss. All right. Do you wanna? Oh yeah. So this thing right here. You want me to flip it? Drum roll. Okay, drum roll for me. <laughs> How do our strengths and weaknesses complement each other? Mm-hmm. Well, let's address this weakness word first. <laughs> We're gonna change that to opportunity. What was the other one? Uh, growth area. Growth area. Mm -hmm. Weaknesses make me nervous. It makes me feel weak. Not to say that I'm not weak. I just. Nah, you're strong. We have yeah. to speak life into each other. Yes, so indeed. the opportunity. All right. So you want to go first? You want me to go first? Uh, ladies first. Oh, great. <laughs> Oh, you're such a gentleman. Thank you. Um, I'm a gentleman. So from my perspective, I would say our strength and weaknesses complement, or whoops, there I go. Our strength it. and opportunities mm -hmm. complement each other because I feel the offset. It's like my opportunity of growth is an area that you're very strong in. So you can help me reach the level that I want to get to. Um, and then I feel like my strengths are typically areas that <laughs> <laughs> I will say that you've never tapped into, but like certain things you're just like, wow. And I'm like, yeah, this is something that I know I'm really good at. Mm -hmm. And like, it's something that maybe you didn't really like massage necessarily. Mm -hmm. So like you look to me for um, my opinion and perspective and it makes me feel really good. And I'm yeah. like, dang, okay. Cool, and I feel like I'm teaching you something, and you know, I put you on this high pedestal because I feel like you're very smart. <laughs> like, I've seen you work. So, yeah, they complement each other, I feel like, in a way where it balances out. Mm -hmm. It's not like we're both very strong personalities, and like, you need to, we both need to work on like calming down or anything. Mm -hmm. So, it, it, from my perspective, I don't think it's anything crazy, but mm -hmm. what is your perspective on that? No, I mean, so. Thank you. <laughs> Made me all you fuzzy inside. Have. <laughs> no, right. uh, no, but I, I would say that for for you, there's I mean, there's a lot of things where I mean, I think with this question, we could talk about you know things that you're better at than I am, and we can also talk about I think things that we're both great at that I think we elevate within ourselves mm -hmm. or within each other. And so with the first thing that popped in my mind <laughs> oh, was uh, organization. Ooh. Like you are organized, I am not. <laughs> How I've made it this far in life, it is- I don't even know that. Only the Lord knows. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but you have, you know, you just brought something so different and you do it in a, in a way that you don't even make me feel bad. You just make me recognize, hey, Jared, like, <laughs> Get your life together. You could, I was like, your work environment <laughs> right? could be a lot better. You yeah. could probably think clearly if you just had a clutter-free yeah. desk. You and, know? And, and only because I have learned you know, that it I, helps. And I appreciate that you didn't call me a hoarder, <laughs> even though I have hoarder tendencies. Um, right? But that's yeah. a growth area. Hey, right? cool. And uh, creativity. I, I love, like, that is a huge strength for you. And I've always felt creative. And then you make, not that you make me feel not creative, but your, the way that your mind works, it, it fascinates me. And mm. that is one of the many things that I'm attracted to about you. And like, I, yeah, I'll ask you for help when it comes to work or like, I'll just ask for your opinion because I know that your perspective is gonna be different than mine. Mm -hmm. And that my perspective might not even, you know, not, not be necessarily right or how everyone else thinks. And so, Many of times through work or just life situations, you have put me on game with, uh, you know, just how your mind works. And like, I'm just always excited to hear what you have to say. So, Dang, that's um, what it and I'll say that's definitely helped me. Like, I can't lie. I brought some of your ideas to work a couple of times and it was like, <laughs> great idea, Derek. And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> was, I I, Run me my commission, I know, I, I find I gotta your speed. Pay. Well, I'm your mentor, <laughs> so it's, it's a two-way street. I, I give you some, you give me some, don't. No, but, no, but back to your opinion, Talk I mean, not your me. opinion, your, what you just recently said um, about you sharing things and getting my opinion, mm -hmm. like that was a weakness of mine. Like I just would keep all that in, yeah. and like if I'm making something like a, a deck mm -hmm. of some sort, and I think it sucks, I won't get anybody's opinion. Yeah. I'll just like, no, let me start over. 
Um, that happened a few times. Mm -hmm. And like, as I saw you doing that with me, um, at first I was just like, wow, he really values my opinion mm -hmm. and I felt good about it. And then when you told me like, hey, like you don't share anything with me, yeah. I felt so, <laughs> yeah, that was a moment. I was mm -hmm. like, dang, I, I don't, and it's not on purpose, but it's just like, I, I just didn't understand. So it's definitely an opportunity for mm -hmm. growth yeah. and like just sharing stuff with you like since that conversation like i definitely see the value that it mm -hmm. adds not only to you but to me um and just to get your opinion on yeah. like just stuff when it comes to creating things like i feel like it's so sacred and just <laughs> high stakes you're like no i don't want you to say this is whack or mm -hmm. like if you say it's good are you just being nice yeah. like sometimes when you say things i'm like he's just saying that because like why would you want to upset me I'm <laughs> like a, i'm gonna always tell you like it is i know and i recognize if <laughs> I recognize your project is booty i'm going to say maybe <laughs> that, that project is booty i won't say that <laughs> But maybe so I what would. would you say so I know? Like I, the I would keyword. say it in like a nice way, like, hey, babe, like, maybe we can spend a couple more hours on this. Oh, God, you've said that before. So that, oh, my God. Oh, oh holy um, smokes. I okay, apologize. well, you know, it's okay. We're past that. But it was like. Because we spent hours on it, that, that, oh, my God. It was. <laughs> That's it, crazy to know. But It was because I cared, right? You know what I'm saying? Like. It was in a constructive way. It was, right? and the delivery was cool. So I guess, you know, that's that worked. Mm -hmm. But like, where did that, that like, I don't know, I want to call it a feature of yours, but like, <laughs> how do you, where did you get the, I guess the, I don't even know what to call it, but how did you learn to share and just like be that? like open and asking people to like, look at stuff? Cause I don't, mm -hmm. I, I've never done that. I mean, I guess I have with family, but it wasn't yeah. like a thing. You know, I mean, I was, you know, only child, so <laughs> I didn't really have anyone to ask things for. And I mean, now that you, you mention it. Like, it should be the other like, way around. Yeah, right? I, I don't, I, I, I think it was just like my best friends that I would consider my brothers, you know, yeah. um, Alex, Chad, and Joe. And when we lived together, like in college, in that moment, I thought I knew everything <laughs> that I needed to know. And we all did. <laughs> they, they like made me feel dumb, but not in like a bad oh, way. You need those friends but that you make you feel dumb. Like, I don't think I had that. Like, but I think having those experiences where like we would kind of clown each other, but after a while it just helped me understand like, all right, I don't know everything. Mm -hmm. I grew up very differently than these guys that I live with. And I learned something from all three of those guys that I live with that have helped me grow. And yeah. so... For me, I understand, like, I'm, I'm never going to know it all. There's always going to be someone that knows more than me. Mm. And so I'm always going to, like, ask. And you, like, I, your mind does not work like mine does. The way that you structure things is insane to me. And I'm like, how come I can't be like that? And so instead of just, while I'll try to be it, I know I'll never be at your level in that regard. And so I'm like, babe, can you help me, please? It's like a sense of, like... Humility and being yeah, open to that. I, I think maybe that comes from me showing things and being around people that were just like yeah, possibly right. shutting it down or just saying that mm -hmm. that didn't make sense. But now that I think about it, I was like into a lot of non-traditional things. Yeah. And when I would present it, whether that was to my friends or my parents, I think my parents were more lean, but I would just say friends. Mm -hmm. They didn't understand. Like they were just like, what? Yeah. <laughs> what? Like that doesn't make sense. So like that, I know, made me subconscious yeah. about my ideas and sharing that so you definitely bring that out of me make me feel comfortable with sharing and now to the point where I'm like I know that I have really cool ideas that run through mm -hmm. my head and they may seem dumb to me but to the next person it could uh, be like the next cool thing which oh I've seen in my past like career experiences that yeah people if they don't believe it it's hard for them to understand yeah. so look, cool thank you for bringing that up look, my baby <laughs> It's dope. <laughs> I need that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's, that's I appreciate it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> My baby's dope. Um, all right, but then hold on, because the question says strengths and weaknesses. Mm -hmm. We talked about that, but let's. What about strengths? Like, how do you think that our strengths make us better? Oh man, I mean, the fact that we're both super creative, and then like you mentioned, like I'm organized, mm -hmm. but I feel like you. I, I feel like that sort of caps where my mind goes versus yours. You'll go <laughs> yeah. way up north. And I just feel like, 
and it, to me, I don't understand it, but like you'll break it down to like the most basic understanding to where I'm like, all right, cool, I get it mm -hmm. to a certain degree. Um, so I think it works. Because some things I'm like, nah, well, then tell me. Just I do tell you. I think you, gotta, I think you need to spend more hours on this. Idea. No, I do tell okay. you. You just don't listen. Don't you don't care. care. You like whatever. <laughs> Cause you're like, this is mine. I don't care. So, if you don't so get it, maybe, I get it. <laughs> so maybe I'm not that humble. No, <laughs> but it's cool. Cause like, you know, be great. <laughs> but um, I think those strengths, the coming together, is why we have so much mm -hmm. fun. Like low key, like we can spend we a fun. night of brainstorming things that don't happen, which I think leads to our weakness together yeah. of like being afraid of maybe putting our ideas and actually in action, seeing it yeah. happen, like a the next steps but but those days are over but i feel you i feel you on that they um, are over those days are over but i i i agree that i mean i think what i love about our strengths is energy um mm -hmm. while you know admittedly your energy isn't on my level but it's okay it can, it's be, there, it can be there one day but i love that <laughs> i love that you just rock with it and you will join my energy mm -hmm. and like I, I've never really had that in a relationship before, and so like that is 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 really special to me because like even in my you know I could be on right mm -hmm. in Jarek mode, but I feel like you're right there with me. And Always, so, I'm like you know how you see people skating and they just yeah. laugh. <laughs> <laughs> you see one just like attached. That mm -hmm. is me. I am the attachment. Yeah, like because yeah. I'm I'm not as like charismatic i can be but like I've not all it. the time i know it's just draining to be that way sometimes i mean it is i'll be tired <laughs> <laughs> and the truth comes out i'll be tired i just think i just like to sit and observe first before i go into things which mm -hmm. is an opportunity to like not maybe sit too long versus yeah. you i feel like i've watched you and you like jump right into things not having a clue with how it may turn out but right. you don't care and like I think that's a way that we balance things off mm -hmm. and like be, knowing that that is an opportunity for me. I've been in situations where I'm like, oh, this is so whack. <laughs> like, what would Jerry do? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was like, WWJD, no, WWJD. We, we can't do that. I mean, well, <laughs> but, yeah. but yeah, you get it. So and I'll think <laughs> about that and I'm like, I'm gonna just do it. Um, and it's the whew, well, the so highest of anxiety mm -hmm. trying to do that, and that that's where I recognize we are not the same people. Martian, so yeah. yeah, like I let you do you, mm -hmm. and I do me, and like, but we still work well together. So well, on that. yeah. So well, so so well. Yeah, babe. Like, I feel like you, <laughs> I just thought about this. What you feel? What you feel? <laughs> Another like strength, <laughs> just. From being in COVID, like what I've recognized, mm. your eating habits oh. have drastically changed. Oh, I wouldn't say that's a weakness, but because you, it's an opportunity. It was, it was definitely a growth area. But it, to some people, it's probably not. Like they're same. fine with eating how they mm -hmm. eat, but like I think being that that was a an area that I spent a lot of yeah. time in uh, trying to understand and work what worked best for me, mm -hmm. and just the benefits that I like yeah. reaped from it, an opportunity for me was to cook more and i told you like, i didn't really cook like that yeah. because i enjoy eating out and mm -hmm. like i you would be eating out. had no desire to like look at a recipe and make it at home like things that i would buy mm -hmm. at a restaurant but i think when i saw and don't take this the wrong way oh, it's already been taken the wrong way <laughs> well, go ahead say it so when I saw that, like how you ate and just like you were just out here eating whatever, I was like, hey, you know, I used to do that too, but yeah. we have to love our bodies a little more. <laughs> and so that I was like driven by that. And it wasn't like a wrong thing. Mm -hmm. It was just like I was driven to like, how can I tell him to do better if I'm not showing him how? Mm -hmm. So that was like an opportunity for me to then like jump into this whole cooking craze and start getting creative uh, yeah so that wasn't the truth comes out the truth comes out i just want i want you to live longer like i yeah. met you so late in life so mate where you been I know, I know. so hey. now i have to extend hey, your life hey what's up soul mate yeah no okay that's cool keep me alive yeah i just want to keep you alive so that was like that opportunity that i recognized um 
I'm gonna yeah. keep you alive with this charisma. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you because I'm so be chill. <laughs> <laughs> they say laughing or what no, I don't know. Laughing is the best medicine. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, it is. It is the best medicine. Why right, you just be giggling, huh? I know because you're funny. Like you're just naturally funny. I think you don't realize it because some things. For instance, and I hope you don't get in trouble. We may have to edit this out so you won't get in trouble at work, but. I wish I could be at work <laughs> in a meeting and still be playing a game. On your phone. <laughs> that is a strength. No, like, hey, multitasking. Look. I can multitask, but to a certain degree. And like, I feel like if I'm at work in a meeting, if I don't listen, mm. I. I mean, you see me tune things out. You'll yeah. be saying something. I'm like, well, I'm sorry. Yeah, I think you hit me in the moment. No, absolutely. Mm. It, now, if it's a meeting that <laughs> requires my full attention, it is there. But in this world and environment, I am not used to being on a computer for from nine to five, listening to I people talk you. on a box. <laughs> like, I can't do it. So, you know, if I if I want to play Candy Crush here and there. Wow, <laughs> are you about to cry? You're in there. Candy <laughs> crush. I mean, but I I see the balance. So it's like, but and that's what another weakness of our opportunity for me. Like at work, I will. I will, I'm probably one of those people that <clears throat> you would get on a phone call with. Not all the time, I'll yeah. say, but you'll get on a Zoom call with now. Mm -hmm. And like have to say a joke to lighten up the mood yeah. because you probably feel the stress and the energy that people are giving off. So like, I want to be that person because I just, you know, I like to be peaceful. I know, and I'm like watching every day and I still haven't honed in on like, what does he do before he says something? I feel like I missed that mm. window. So like, where does that come from? How do you just like, cause I see your day to day yeah. and then you get on these meetings and you like, lighten up the mood even if the mood's already there you like add to it I, I i just think like i think a lot of people take work way too serious i mean like because we that I, right you're supposed to yeah yes <laughs> like, and no all right like yes right <laughs> you work so you get yeah. paid so you can live <laughs> and survive <laughs> and eat and feed your family i get that part <laughs> But like, I don't think that means you don't, you can't be yourself at work, yeah, right? Well. And so like, for me, when I'm myself, and I believe when everyone is able to be themselves, they perform better. And so like, when I see people just being serious all the time, I'm like, dude, like, like when I worked at Nike, for example, I'm like, we're talking about sneakers. <laughs> <laughs> like, why are you so upset? <laughs> you know? But why? it's like the stress factor, like behind. I get stress. Like. But yeah but like how where does that come from like how like what experiences did you have growing up to where you're just like hey we're just talking about sneakers let me lighten up the mood even mm. though we're probably dropping the ball on getting them here <laughs> oh, early no. like you know people's jobs could be at risk That's it. I'm, just, I, I'm not stressed <laughs> I, I try my best not to stress on things that are out of my control because literally it's just wasted stress and like for me, this is, this is my mentality in college, which was a little rough, but like when I, whenever I had like a paper that I was like stressing about and like freaking out, am I gonna get this done by the deadline? And I would just stop and just be like, it's gonna get done. <laughs> <laughs> that was, that was what? I would just stop, no, like not stop doing it, but I would just like stop and like tell myself like, I was like it's good. That's an athlete's mentality. I would just mentality. stop like, <laughs> And I'm going to go to sleep and it'll be done. But no, I would stop and just be like, why are you freaking out? Like, you're going to get it done, get it done. like relax, breathe and, and do it. And so like, if it's shoes aren't going to make it in time or like, you know, someone didn't respond to an email when they should have, like, there's nothing we could do about it. Yeah. So, so chill, like if, if we can pivot, we'll pivot. And if we can't pivot, then like, dang, yeah. there it is. And so like. I just, I don't, and I don't, I never wanted my job to like take over my life. And mm, so really, yeah. I am Jarek first, and then I'm an employee for X. Like, mm -hmm. And so I will always be Jarek first. Oh, Come on. Yeah, yeah, I you feel like you that. on that. We like gotta that. all learn that. So 
hearing your side and mm -hmm. then just kind of thinking back on how I would let situations like take over me. Um, it'll be like things like <laughs> things that you can't just be like I'm a relax and I'm it's gonna it's gonna work because sometimes this fire it's drills. not going to that. work and so knowing that that's an opportunity that I still need to work on and with COVID haven't had the mm -hmm. environment to mm -hmm. have to do that um, what do you like what advice could you give to me like that I could yes. maybe implement mm -hmm. Don't even go off of your, like really take a step back and think about one. So one, but when people like really just take a step back, like does yeah. that mean get up from your desk, walk around? Cause <laughs> no. like nobody ever I mean, clarifies it, it could, that. It could be that. Like, a step back is whatever you need to, to remove yourself from the situation for a second and look at the bigger picture versus just what you're seeing right there in the moment. For me, that's like, okay, I'm gonna go home for the day and then I'm gonna come back to see this tomorrow. I mean, if like, you can't, I can't. If you can't do that, but if you can't, like, <laughs> adjust what that is for you. Like, yeah. take a walk, like, yeah. or just stop and, and think about all the other factors that are in it. And if things are out of your control, then think about, okay, what can I control? Mm. And if there's something, do it. And if there isn't something, like, you, just you, you, kinda, you, just, you, you just move on and yeah, or you hope for the best and you yeah. just make sure that when the product arrives or whatever it is that was holding you back, um, that you can just like, like you can just take care of it when, when the time comes. Thanks, Mentor. No doubt. Uh, that'll be a hundred dollars. <laughs> Cash Venmo, Zell. I'm just uh, Zell me girl. <laughs>